Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. In this video today, we are going to be unboxing the PS4. So over at my local shops, they've got a really good deal going on right now and they're actually selling the PS4 for $400 and also two games included with it. So that is actually really amazing and that's the price I would want to pay for it because before it was about $550 just for the console itself. So $400 and two games, that is a really good deal. Now if you don't know, I've got every console prior to the PS4. So we've got the PS1, we've got the PS2 and we've also got the PS3 and I wanted to add to it. So we've got the PS4 now and we're going to be doing an unboxing today. Add this brother to the family here because they've been missing him, they've been missing him. So. Let's unbox this baby. Now straight off the bat, I thought I'd get the games out the way. So I got two games. One was Drive Club and then the other one was Little Big Planet. I'm looking more forward to this Drive Club one because I usually like driving games. But this Little Big Planet, um, I haven't really played it before, but maybe it will be fun. Um, I, I, I think it's more like aimed towards children, but I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. So the PS4, it's a beautiful box. Don't know why I'm saying that, but it just is. It's a really nice box. Good work, Sony. Um, let's go ahead and let's try and open this up now. So there's like a little thing on the back here, which I gotta try and slot out. Let's see. Here we go. All right, we got it. No butt scratcher this time. If you watch my PS3 unboxing video, I used a butt scratcher to uh, unbox, this, un unbox the PS3. So I've got the box open now, and the first thing I notice off the bat is the controller here. Now I've heard that the um, controller has or has changed and it feels a lot more grippier in your hands which is a really good thing and we're gonna give that a quick test now so wow that actually that actually feels really good because I'm, I'm used to like the PS like all the controllers prior to the PS4 have been like the same shape and this is the first time they've kind of changed it around and it actually feels really good so that is a plus. That is really awesome. And the controller looks really nice as well. Um, we've got a little touchpad at the top here. We've got some new buttons, a share button, an options button. Um, kind of got to look into what they do. I think the sharing does like live stream or something like that. Um, and also, I think we've got a little head jack down the bottom here, which is really awesome. I'm looking forward to using that actually. And then we've just got the uh, typical X square triangle buttons and the um, D-pad, so that is really awesome. So we just got typical booklets here, we just got Welcome to the World of PlayStation, nothing too exciting about that. And then uh, there's something else here, oh this just must be the cables, again nothing exciting. Oh, free HDMI, which is really good. Um, oh, these must be, oh god, oh god, oh god, I broke them already. Not really, but this must be like a little headset. Is that a little headset? Has it got a microphone on it? I'm not sure. Oh, there is a mic on this, so we got a little free headset, which is pretty awesome. And then also just power cable, um, and also a cable to charge the controller. Now we're on to the main part of the video here, and this is the PS4 itself. So uh, I don't know where I'm going to store this on my desk because I've already got all my consoles on here. Maybe I'll have to take maybe the PS1 off, but I really don't want it because. I like the PS1, so uh, let's go ahead and let's try and get this PS4 out. Alright, I think we just got to lift it on both sides here. Oh yeah, that's correct. Alright, let's try and not break this. Oh god, rough times. Ugh. There we go, we've got it out. And we're just going to stand up on the side here. And that will be the easiest way. So I'm just going to take that top off. And then we'll take that bottom off it as well. Uh oh. I don't want to break this already. Take that off. Uh, we might actually take this box off and put it onto the floor because it is just massive. And here we go, the console itself. Wow. All right, let's try and open this up. Well, let's get this out, actually. Not try, because we're going to be able to do it anyway. So, oh, I can't get this open. Oh, I'm going to give up now. All right, let's just rip it apart. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. I really like the design they've gone for this actually. Nice like angles, like 45, uh, it's probably like a 35 degree angle there. That is really something right there. 
that is that is beautiful so we got two USB 3.0 slots at the front here we've got the blu-ray drive and then I think we just got indicator lights right here so it lets you know if your comp if your PS4 is effed when the red one comes on on the back here we just got an optical out so if you want high quality audio maybe you want to use that we've got HDMI we've got the Ethernet um, not entire oh that's a auxiliary uh, port. I'm not sure what you'd use that for and then also just the uh, power at the bottom left there. So Man, this is this is a work of art. This is a work of art definitely So here we have it guys the PS4 there it is Unboxed in its full flesh right here. I'm quite excited to actually set this up and start playing around with it I'm probably gonna play Drive Club first up, but I'm quite excited for new games that are gonna be coming out and one of the reasons as well why I decided to buy this today is because in the future Battlefront will be coming out and it's not going to be on PS3 uh, I'm gonna need to upgrade to PS4 and that's why I've bought one today um, I don't really like playing a lot of F first person shooters on um on PC, I prefer playing them on console. So that's going to end off this video today. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye, crustaceans.